now we are going to close the file now we are going to open a new file because we are we have to see the select options for the reason going to open a file like this file now go to the select option select all select all we can see one selection area is already covering the whole image or whole photo we can copy that things and we can transfer to or we can paste it on into a uh, new background file now there is another option called the deselect or control D the selection is disappeared now there is one of the more options called the reselect once again the selection has uh, appeared now once again deselect the selection disappears now within that select option we are watching the other options which is called the inverse options which is the short form is control shift i we are going to open a new a new image file now we are going to select this one using the magic wind now the white portion is already selected if i copy that one and paste into a other image file you can see only the white background has selected and pasted now once again select the dark file and select the inverse control shift i now the selection has inversed and it just only going to copy only to the dark and going to paste only the dark has appeared over the screen control to z for step backward going to close now there is another option which is called the color range now the color range is like when we are just clicking with the eye drop tool is taking in a preview and we can change the fuzziness and that fuzziness is when selection is on then it is just selecting the whole duck now we are going to teach you the other more options which is called the feather option control to d for that reason now there is one options which is already showing on the uh, below the menu bar where the feather options value is zero now we are going to select one particular area of the dark and we are selecting the feather option and giving the value 40 press ok that selection feather mode is on the selection is we can see we are going to copy that one and we are going to paste over the image file we can see the effect of the feather now control to z for the step backward now we are going to once again going to the select options there is another option which is called the grow option now for that reason we have to going to open a new image now maximize that one going to select the magic wind and clicking in one portion the selection is occurring on the screen now just press or click over the grow button it's just growing that means the selection is increasing a more a more now control to Z now once again there is another option called the similar similar is a little bit like the grow options but there is one of the options called the tolerance if the tolerance is more and click over some particular color and click that similar options it will consider where the red color is there it will consider the selection it will take the red color selections control the 
z for this selection now there is a one more option which is called transform selection before that we have to select the marquee tool and now we are going to copy that selection area and going to paste it now we are going to move means we can see another layer is occurred and we are going to move that one now we are going to apply the free transform and we can transform the that particular layer now control alt z once again to apply the free transform only for the selection area now if i click we can't do that the image is going to cut down and it's not selecting the selection area we can't transform it now there is one option called the transform selections click over it and we can adjust the selection area and we can transform according to our choice just press enter and copy or cut anything according to your choice now we are going to teach you the other options which is most important and most usable option which is called the load and save selections the first is save selections for the reason we are going to use the magic wind for the selected the area the selection is over now we are going to save that selection giving a different name called anything name now the selection is saved now one more selection to fill the color now going to load selection and press okay the selection is occurring which is we did the before now we can see the selection now we can see what are what are the previous selections we already saved that is once again we can load or we can get back until if one shape is already covered or already completed but if i just uh, click over the load selections that whatever the selection we already saved that we can get back once again now control tab z for step backward 